So here's my first hot wire cutter. Very crude. But effective. Wanted to make a prettier one, something a little bit more sturdy. So I used that hot wire cutter to cut this. It's going to be the arm for a cast aluminum hot wire cutter. Got my hole for the switch, the hole for the wire on top, two mounting bolt holes and a hole for the wire on the bottom. That's the end gate. Next step is to get the foundry going. Crucible's in place, charged with some aluminum. Tank on. Get this going. Step one complete. Alrighty. That's cruising right along nicely. I've got that arm buried in play sand with a can sitting over the end gate. Not green sand or anything special, just normal old play sand. Patted it down with my hand. Nothing too intricate. Once this gets good and melted, we'll see how she goes. Alright, time to pull the lid off. Take all the dross off the top of the aluminum. Flux it, degas it, and pour the mold. Wish me luck. Here I go.
always have ingots ready because you don't know how much your mold's going to take. And we'll let that cool for 15, 20 minutes, and then see how it comes out. Not quite cool enough to pull out yet. Just about done cleaning up, and I wanted to show you something. The can over that inlet is dual purpose. First, it helps you aim. Second, it provides head pressure, so as the metal cools and shrinks, it has something to draw from. I'm a little concerned this might be a short one. Not enough aluminum in there to do it because it drew enough to make a hole. I've never seen that before. Here's to hoping. Once it cools down a little more, I'll pull it out of there. We'll see what happened. All right, let's pull this thing out and see what happened. I think that's a success. are there. They're full of sand right now, but they're there. Cut the sprue off, dig the sand out, and then sand the whole thing down and polish it nice. I think that worked. Fantastic. Show you how it turns out when it's cleaned up.